Hey viewers, and in today's video, you will learn how to create a responsive design prototype in Figma. And welcome to Ready Design One, helping you design, save time and effort. Made some cards, and just to give you an idea, I did create a card, and I made it into a component. We have different types. We have a dark version, we have a version with graphics. So all of these graphics, I've put them all in as an image and I can easily change the different versions. So I think this is a nice way of working because you're making it into a component. You're making it nice and reusable. I have another variant where you might want to use an image or you might want to use an illustration. So this is a reusable card component. Just copy the home page that we did. So I'm going to copy that, go to responsive home, paste that in. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to start replacing some of these cards. So this one I'm going to delete. You can see this is already nice and fluid. And here I'm going to just go in, I'm going to do shift I card and then hit enter. So that didn't put it in the right place. So I'm just going to drag that over here and I'm going to say I need that to fill and I need that to fill. Great. So now I'm going to change them up. I'm going to say I want a dark version. Even that works pretty well. I need a graphic. So now I'm just going to very quickly try and, and, and it's nice and responsive. So Command Z. Again here I just need to go in hit enter, hit enter. I'm going to swap these out. So my face is in the way. So I'm just going to go to these ones and I'm going to change this to card. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually leave it like this. I think this is pretty cool where they're quite random. So the first lesson you'll learn is the five W's and one H, which I think is, is so important. Please leave a comment if you would like this file released in the Figma community. The next one, we're just going to swap that again for card. And now we're going to go to graphic and we actually want the number two graphic. So I'm just going to go in and start finding the one. So that's number three. That's another version of three. And there we go. Number two. Now you can't really see number two. So I'm going to change that to two. I'm going to go into the card and my face is always in the way and I'm going to then just say the next lesson should be about typography or text. Okay. And then we just go to the next one. I say card again. I'm going to say graphic and we want that to be, we want that to be number three. That looks pretty cool, but I'm going to choose a different one. And here I'm going to say number three. Now you're going to learn about color. And then this one is going to be another card. <clears throat> we say, if we keep it like that. So now we're on to number four, and this will be about spacing. As an example, you can go here, you can say, I want an image or I want an illustration, right? So for now, we're just going to go back to graphic. And because we've done the hard work already at the, at the first video, it's already responsive, but it's not responsive if you want to go mobile. This will be your frame for desktop, Command D. And now you need to make it mobile friendly. So the way to do that is there's a lot of tinkering. Now, the first thing to do is you're going to change the frame. So let's say we're going to go to around uh, iPhone 13 Pro or let's say Pro Max, for example. And then what we have to do is we have to go into them. So let's say we go into the nav. We don't want to show the nav on the mobile. We want it to hide. And here we are then going to have that from the left. And we actually want the width to be the same. So 428. 
hit enter. Oop. So here we go to this frame, we say 428. You can see everything is going crazy. So if we start going into the layers, we can see hero section, fill container, hard contents. We actually want them to stack vertical. So if I do that and I want it to hug contents. And if I, if I hit enter to go into those layers, I want to fill container on the width and I want to hug contents. So now they're starting to appear. This one, we also want them to stack. So they currently are, I hit enter. I want these cards to stack because currently they're in a row. So stack like that. And I also want that to hug contents. And then if I hit enter, I'm going into these cards. I'm going to say fill container. I actually want this to be first. So they're going to see that first and change the order. And, and now what we've done is we very quickly just, if I actually do this, Okay, that's not working. So that is four to eight. If I hit enter, we actually want that to. Oh, hold on. So if I do that, now oh, there we go. Yeah. So you can see there. Even if you go up to iPad, that is going to be fluid. Now this one here, I'm just trying to figure out what is. Why do we have another frame in there? Interesting. Very interesting indeed, frame 97. So I'm just going to bring that back to 97. And I think I know why it's to do with scrolling. So anyway, we're going to make sure that that is going to be a dark background. And then the same thing for here, we're going to make sure that the whole frame is also a dark background. So the next step now is we start need to start making these smaller in terms of the font size. So this one here, I'm thinking, okay, we need to make that way smaller. So 40, and this is way too small. So I'm going to say a fixed height, 96 is what we'll do. If I go into this, I can then start reducing spacing. So 24, all the space around, I'll say 24. This again, we need to make this way smaller. So let's say 32. Again, we're using the eight point grid, semi bold. We'll say 40 line height. This one here, we're going to start going down to 16. This will also be 16. And then here, we can make these smaller as well. So 16. Yeah, even the uh, avatar, we can say, we can bring that down to 32, 32. And then another thing to think about is the branding. The branding has gone in the nav. So you can think about having a hamburger menu, but we're going to keep it simple for now. So I'm going to, I'm just going to make that line height 24. I'm going to duplicate and then hit the up key to change the order. And here is the name of the site ready designer one, because no one really knows the site at the moment. So you need the branding and the name in a prominent position. And what we have to do here is start making these cards smaller. So this has to go way down, let's say 96. Nice make the line height 96 as well. If we go into the card, we could see some spacing. I'm just going to put zero and these ones, I'm going to make them smaller. So let's say 24. Nice. So same thing for these. I'm just going to check out the cards and I'm just going to go to this one and make that smaller 24. Great. So now we've got more consistency with these cards. Oops. 24 on the size. This one should be 96, 96 line heights. And this one we're going to say 24. Oop, 24. If 
but we have to we have to get rid of all the spacing inside the card great so those cards are looking pretty sweet now the only thing is let's just reduce some spacing within here so let's say 16 and this one there's not there's not a lot of space so i'm actually going to stack these vertically so we're doing that and we can say hug contents if we hit enter to go in we can say fill and we could say hug contents and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go in and get rid of clip and get rid of the border radius and i'm going to say okay we actually want these to have a gap of like eight pixels and here i'm going to go in and say yeah we actually want the whole thing to have a border radius of eight and this one to have a border radius of eight as well so this is full width on the phone and we're just gonna make the text go in the center there we go so now the next step is we're going to do some um, prototyping just to see how it looks so i'm going to just click here and i'm going to go to prototype i'm going to go across and I want it to smart animate. Same thing again. I'm going to go back and go to smart animate. So you can select it here. And I'm not using any plugins for this. There is some great plugins out there, but you have to pay for some of them. So I thought, how can we do it without paying? And this is one way. And if I go to prototype, let's have a look. So there we go. If I click, you can see that it's not the best experience, but you can see how it changes to mobile. Okay, so I think that is not too bad. Now, the only thing is we can't scroll. The next challenge is to, is to do some scrolling. So here, you can click on the frame. I can say we want vertical scrolling. Now, the challenge with this one is different. I say I want vertical scrolling as well. So if we check this out. So here, the whole thing scrolls. Okay, that's not great. If I check out the mobile, this scrolls, which is perfect. Okay, I mean, that, that's looking nice. So it's a bit more tricky when you have auto layout on the desktop version. So what that means is I have to go here I have to get rid of the auto layout on frame 96. So if I minus that, and if I click on this frame, I want that to, sorry, I want this one to fix position when scrolling. So again, if I check this out, don't have my mouse. So if I, if I scroll up, or down you could see this is now fixed so now this feels like it feels like a real website now so that's pretty cool click click back if I was to clip the content you can see what the user will see I'm just gonna clip content again so this is what they're gonna see in terms of like the fold so we could probably be a bit more generous with this one. So I'm going to say 192. So now you're going to see the first article, depending on the phone size, of course. But I think that is a nice size for the branding. So let me know what you think in the comment section. What design would you prefer? Would you like it to have the graphic for the hero? Would you prefer a real human in there? or would you like an illustration? I hope you enjoyed this video. So please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll see you in the next video.